Good. Hey, it's Kevin Lawn with the New Warehouse Podcast here at ProMat 2023. I'm in the booth, joined by Nick D'Alessio of Brother Mobile Solutions. Uh, we're going to talk to Nick today about Brother Mobile Solutions, uh, what they're seeing at the show, um, talking about the, the modernization of, of the warehouse and, and how Brother is helping to, to accomplish that as well. Um, so, Nick, first off, welcome to the booth. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for having us. Definitely. Happy to have you guys in here. Uh, happy to learn more about Brother. Um, but but first, let's uh, hear, how, how's it going? We're, we're day three here at ProMed, so how, how's it going for you guys? Uh, it's going really well. Yeah. Uh, I think... It's definitely post-pandemic. I think there's a lot of people that are yeah. ready to get back, yeah. uh, have discussions about projects. Uh, we've had a lot of great discussions, I'd have to say. Um, less curious people and more people yeah. about, I need this, this is what I'm working on, we want to move forward. So uh, it's very encouraging to see the yeah. investment, you know, in spite of all the, the challenges that may be out there. Right, yeah, and I, I'm, I'm curious, actually, as an interesting point where, uh, I'm saying I'm curious, but you're saying the attendees are, are curious or we're not curious. Like they're more in the mindset of uh, like, this is what I, I need. Why do, why do you think that's kind of shifted a little bit? I think my perspective is that the pandemic, of course, shined a light on some of the supply chain opportunities that existed then. Right. Many organizations had time during the pandemic to kind of look at their operation, one, and keep it going. Right. And then two, look at what do I have to invest to make sure that we're not caught behind the eight ball next time. Mm. Um, and it's complementary to a lot of the discussions we were having pre-pandemic with, right. we're looking at changing our workflows. Mm. Five years ago, I was having conversations with people, warehouse managers that were wanting to, hey, I'm looking at mobilizing my workflows. Okay. Back about the time Windows Mobile was declining, Android and iOS were coming up. Mm. And so everybody was looking. Yeah. And then obviously, as it you know, applied to barcode labeling, right. uh, it eventually trickled its way to us. Mm. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. And it, yeah, I mean, it's great that I think, um, you know, I, I mean, in that sense, I guess if we say that the attendee is coming and that they're not uh, necessarily curious, I mean, I'm sure they're curious, but they're also, uh, like you said, that they want to know. Um, it means that, you know, we're dealing with like a more, more educated, um, somewhat a buyer, right, that's coming in. So it's, it's great to see that attendees and, and potential customers are, are educating themselves on the industry um, more, which is definitely a, a beautiful thing, I think. So, so you're with Brother Mobile Solutions, right? So, so tell us a little bit about uh, Brother Mobile Solutions and, and what it is you guys do. Yeah, so I always tell people, you know, we're the little brother from the other mother. Many people are familiar with Brother, <laughs> uh, large company. Uh, maybe some people that are maybe as old as I am remember Brother mm -hmm. typewriters. Okay. Certainly okay. Uh, Brother printers, office equipment, mm -hmm. uh, maybe sewing machines. Right. Uh, we're actually uh, a 13-year-old division of Brother that right. is based in Colorado that is strictly thermal printing, barcode labeling, and ticketing. Mm -hmm. So we focus on label. Right. Uh, so, you know, we're involved in many aspects of warehousing and adjacent supply chain industries. Uh, we deliver a lot of beer and a lot of oil okay. uh, is what <laughs> we do, and uh, we help people track things in warehouses. All right, great. And I, I think what you do is, I mean, the label is, I mean, it's a critical part of what we do in the, the warehousing industry. So, so being able to, to get that label and provide that label, uh, you guys are, are critical to, to making that happen, right? Um, so tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, what are some of the, the challenges that, that we're seeing in the, the warehousing manufacturing space um, and, you know, just in general, but also maybe some of the challenges that you're hearing that people are, are bringing to the show here. So at, at the most basic level, and where Brother really helps the industry, Brother, Brother is known across our, our businesses as being able to democratize the technology mm -hmm for mainstream businesses to leverage that. And that's no exception in the warehouse. We still have, believe it or not, conversations with Midwestern companies, $100 million businesses that are still using Excel spreadsheets and Sharpies to manage their warehouse. Yeah. And so, that's you know, <laughs> it, it, believe it or not, it's still going right. on. And, uh, you know, some of them are leveraging applications that were writ written back in the COBOL days. Mm. The people that wrote those are likely maybe not with us anymore. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so the ability to uh, move into the modern world of understanding where your stuff is, being able to track and trace it is driving uh, a lot of conversations. So it, at the, 
the basic level, basically having people move into barcoding, so databases mm -hmm. and barcoding. And while it sounds interest, you know, albeit basic, the barcode is it the, is the most basic digital representation of physical items. Right. So without the barcode, it becomes um, hard to put things in databases and track. Yeah, so we absolutely. help people uh, move into that space. Mm -hmm. At the other end of the spectrum, people who have been doing warehouse management for a time are now starting to, to reimagine or reinvent their workflows. And again, as I mentioned earlier, they're moving into more of a mobile workflow from a stationary workflow. Um, and that requires uh, mobile technology. Mm. Software providers are, of course, moving. We hear about warehouse management moving into the cloud. We hear about label management moving into the cloud. And then we have, again, some of the outflow of, of COVID was we need people to be able to do their jobs independently. Okay. And now we want to be able to work more efficiently. So we want a lot of the work to happen at the point that it's being picked or placed or labeled. Mm. Printing has historically been a centralized activity that happens at the end of the conveyance system or right. at a centralized cross-docking area. What we're seeing now, people are now wanting to put printers on forklifts, on pallet jacks, uh, wear them or carry them, right. so that they can now have a smart worker be able to pick, label, pack, and do all these things individually. So um, that's been good for us in terms yeah. of people walking into the booth, not just saying, what, what do I need to do? but hey, I need a mobile printer to go on my forklift, or I'm gonna be creating three more warehouses, can you help me figure out you know, how we're gonna work with this piece of software? Right, yeah, yeah. And I, I think that's a great point. And, and even, I, I wanna take it back there to a second to, to the barcoding aspect where you say, you know, there's still still some operations out there, you said, uh, you know, dealing with paper and, and Sharpie, right? So, I, I mean, you know, we come to a show like this and obviously, you know, you walk right in the door, whether it's in the, the south side or the, the north hall, um, and you, you're hit right away with like the latest technology, right? The, the robots, the automation. Um, but there are, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people in operations that are still, you know, way, way behind that. So, so tell us a little bit about, um, you know, from your perspective, I mean, the, if an attendee comes in and, and they need to, you know, first, you know, work on these, these barcoding aspects and, and getting to that point, I mean, what's, what's some advice you would give them there? So the first thing is really having them understand what it is they're trying to do. What does their workflow look like? Mm -hmm. You know, clean sheet of paper. Uh, what, what would you want to be able or what are you trying to do? Uh, for us, in many cases, that, that pulls in a software discussion. What software are you using or what software are you currently migrating from yeah. that you want to be able to, to manage? Because obviously this has to be extended into the solution. At the end of the day, we provide a label printer, mm. but a solution is composed of barcode printing, software, uh, labels, right. uh, you know, and, and people to come in and help you with mobile devices. And, oh, by the way, you're gonna wanna manage all of this so you know what's going on. Is it, does it need to be serviced? Is it broken? Where is it? Uh, so all of these elements really provide um, a well-managed, most efficient and optimized warehouse. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I, I think it's a really interesting the thing to, to point out um, because we do see, um, and I think maybe sometimes, you know, we get so uh, uh, clouded just seeing like all these, uh, like the latest tech and stuff that's out here. So it's, it's important to, that we maintain those those fundamentals as well along the way as we start to, to get to those things um, and, and be able to make sure we put those things in place. Because uh, like as you said, you know, the, the barcode is the way to, to capture that data at multiple points throughout a facility or operation or, or the supply chain in general. So it's really, really important to do that. Um, so tell us a little bit about some of the, the mobile printing solutions that, that you guys are, are providing or, or showcasing here at the show um, that help you to, to be able to kind of print those barcodes out or those labels out that, that help you to carry that data throughout. Sure, so our legacy business really started outside the four walls mm -hmm. in, in trucks, as I mentioned earlier. So we have a lot of experience uh, in terms of rugged ability, being mm -hmm. rugged, right. being able to withstand weather, heaven forbid, abusive behavior of operators. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so, so the mobile aspect of the technology, we understand well. When we bring it inside the four walls, then obviously it adds a new dimension to it, you know, being able to manage it. So for us, a lot of what goes on in the warehouse revolves around a, a four-inch label, mm. you know, four by six, four by two, four by eight, what have you. So what we're typically putting on forklifts is uh, uh, one of our mobile four-inch printers. Mm. Um, Brother is unique in that we have a full page 
full eight inch wide, you know, yes, A4, eight and a half by 11, that can do not only just uh, packing lists or pick lists, but can also print labels or a sheet of labels. Um, we're actually, with some of our large customers, mounting the full page printer on forklifts that are actually going out really to the point of picking in. Yeah. Um, in our own warehouse, uh, we've also, you know, we have a, a very large warehouse in Tennessee. We've also implemented mobile printing in our own warehouse. So we're kind of eating our own dog food, as it were. Right. Uh, e- even where we've implemented cobots mm-hmm. and uh, f- following robots in our warehouse, they still have a mobile printer bolted onto them. So when right. the operator yep. is done picking and bending <laughs> them, um, there's a label it prints out, mm. and that travels with it. Again, moving the, the workflow along in the warehouse uh, with the worker at the point. So right. uh, that's that's the focus in what we're showing. Mm. Uh, we also, of course, have the, the, the traditional large industrial high velocity uh, barcode label printing that, that we've had for many, many years. Mm. Uh, a lot of people aren't aware that Brother has that. We have that. We've implemented that, again, in our own warehouse. Uh, so, so yeah, we have a, you know, a, a uh, nearly two million square foot warehouse in Tennessee that all the brother yeah. companies leverage that's running on brother uh, with robots. And oh, by the way, those robots are powered by brother motors. Oh, so we yeah, have a nice. motor division of the company that's also providing <laughs> automation into yeah. the underbellies mm. of, uh, of many of these devices. Mm. Very interesting. And, uh, and it's great to hear too, I think that you, even internally in the brother solution that you're, I mean, you're embracing the same kind of ethos that you're, you're putting out to the customer as well as that, and that mobility. And I think that mobility is such a key. And the, I, I saw the, the eight and a half by 11 printer, mobile printer, yeah. which I think is like, so I, I just think that's so cool. I mean, I mean, that's very nerdy of me, but I, I'm very, <laughs> I think it's very cool. And, um, but I, you know, with that mobility and, you know, talking to people here, um, on the podcast and, and ProMat, um, you know, one of the big challenges certainly is, is uh, labor, right? That is out there. People are trying to figure out how do they, you know, optimize the, the workforce that they have and, and retain them uh, because they're having trouble getting people and That's hiring right. people. Yes. So tell us a little bit about how the mobile um, solutions that you provide kind of help to uh, work on those types of labor issues. Yeah, so again, the mobility is key. Uh, the, the younger, newer workforce certainly is familiar with mobile devices. Many of them are digital natives. They've grown up using these devices. Right. Many of the applications uh, in the in the warehouse that were maybe running on some very old operating systems now, now run on Android or now run on iOS. And right. so making those software packages and functionalities user-friendly, um, little to no training required, uh, knowing how to use the devices. I think that's helping uh, train workforce when they come in to be able to use those devices. So I think the mobility right. aspect of it is kind of a natural thing for them. Mm. Um, yeah, so so I think, you know, working closely with the software partners, many people aren't aware that, you know, iOS and Android don't natively print. That's yeah. something that yeah, has yeah. to be added. Yeah. So again, working with the software partners uh, so that the user interfaces make printing and mm-hmm. the mobility aspect you know, easy and painless. The mobility aspect, now that you're moving uh, around, you no longer have a stationary device that if it breaks, you know where it's at. Now you need to track and manage devices that yeah. are roaming around an ecosystem um, that may have you know, a print head that needs to be cleaned or they're running low on paper or you know, they're finally out to 500 cycles on the battery and now they're going to need to replace that battery two years, mm. knowing which ones are going to go down. You really don't want it going down in the middle of a shift. Right. That requires a worker to stop. That's go, not good. Go yeah. back. That's not efficient. Um, that's, uh, you know, and it's important for the users to have confidence in the devices they use. Otherwise, uh, they don't they don't get as proficient with it. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think those are all great points. I mean, you know, especially when you, you talk about, uh, I think first they're, you know, bringing in a, a younger workforce who, like you said, is a, you know, digitally native, used to all these things. Like you want things that are, you know, user uh, intuitive and, and easy to adapt and, and use, like you said, um, and not create these like, um, you know, frustrations with the, the printers or, or the mobile things that they're using. Because, the, you know, like you said, when it, they, you know, that happens and it's not easy to use, like, this frustration creeps in and it's just like, oh, this equipment doesn't work. And then, you know, they get tired and they're like, oh, well, you know. They have to have like, a high success yeah. rate. Otherwise, they, you know, it becomes a mind block. I don't want to use that. It doesn't right. work for me or I have these issues with it. It has to just work. 
Uh, you know, and many software people, many hardware, we try to make it resilient. Uh, right. If they drop it, it's not going to break. Yeah. Uh, they get mad and throw it. That, that could change. Uh, <laughs> so, so dealing yeah. with all of these ecosystem, uh, and, and, and more specifically, the warehouse management or the IT groups that have to maintain this equipment. Yeah. Again, providing a system that's easy to maintain is one way to help make the uh, the employees happy, mm. the workers more efficient. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I, I think it's a uh, you know it's a great point. And and I think actually you know we talked about the intuitiveness of the user interface and, and things like that. I mean, hopefully uh, if we can if we can figure that out, then nobody will get mad enough to throw it against the wall, right? <laughs> that's uh, right. That, that's one of the key points there too. Uh, so you know if we look at these things and, and we start to uh, you know want to implement these things, and obviously you know anytime we take something mobile I think it's just uh, an optimization in, in itself which which goes a long way for those those labor issues too because you're able to increase the productivity of these the workers that you do have um, and you know not having them you know have to uh, like you said with the in half by 11 I think is, a, is an awesome example because usually if you would print a, a packing list or something like that you have to go to a, a stationary printer somewhere right. and you got to right. take those steps you got to you know make sure you get to that whereas you could you know print it essentially anywhere um, so you could pick that order, get it ready, and you know, right on the dock, wherever wherever you land it up, you print that, and it's good to go. Um, so I think those types of solutions are great. Um, so when people are are thinking about um, uh, hardware to to start to support this mobility and 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 modernization in their operation, I mean, what are really the the big factors that they should consider? One, it has to. Be easy to use, right? right? I, I think in the warehouse, certainly the ruggedness, I mean, you have concrete floors, you have dusty environments, you have cold, you have hot. So having a device that's uh, perhaps IP54 rated or, or rated so that it can handle that those environments yeah. is key. Um, having uh, systems that can last, if they're going to run on a battery, uh, that can last at least a shift, so somebody's not having to deal with that in the middle of a shift. Right. So having that, having something, that, again, that's reliable. I think having the right software yeah. uh, that works with that device. Uh, and there's a lot of effort that goes into making things user-friendly, trying to anticipate what the user's going to do. Right. Um, wearables, being able to wear things, uh, you know, automated picking. Right. Uh, so. You know, the printers, we try to make them light. Mm -hmm. So if you want to wear them, you can wear them. Uh, but they have to be rugged enough still right. uh, to handle that environment. So key software, rugged ability, uh, low service intervals, uh, I think are all important. Yeah, yeah, I think those are great points. And it, it definitely is something to, to consider as you, as you start to go mobile. Because I, I think even though, uh, like we were talking about earlier in our conversation, you know, the, the, the digitally native, right, and, and those things we use every day, um, you know, could we figure out how to use, uh, like, a, a regular iPad or something like that? Yeah, maybe, but it's not necessarily built to, to take a beating in a warehouse, right? So so considering that ruggedity and, rugged ability and making sure that you're able to, to have that toughness is, is definitely a, a, a core thing. Um, so tell us a little bit, too, as we, you know, look at these environments. I mean, one other thing, too, I think that to consider that's important is the, is the connectivity um, to be able to connect to these devices as we become mobile and I know that uh, you guys have you know multiple options for connecting to the devices so talk to us a little That's bit right. about that and, and the flexibility that creates yeah so if you know depending on the workflow uh, and again if, if, if a lot of the workflow is happening at the dock or outside the uh, the four walls you know Wi-Fi might not be the best uh, right. way to connect right yeah. so we support Bluetooth connectivity uh, and you know, whether it's Android or iOS, the great thing about Brother is we support both operating environments. So we are, you know, my, our iOS MFI compliant, so we, right. we support that connectivity, uh, standard uh, Bluetooth. Uh, but then as that comes inside the four walls, you know, we have dual radio models that will also uh, securely connect to an enterprise level network, you know, whether you're using digital certificates or that security model, or work with the MDM to be able to manage that, it's very important. Yeah. So that connectivity uh, and the reliability. So, you know, loss or lower cost implementations maybe don't roam so well, mm -hmm. access point to access point. Right. Uh, we found that our radios perform very, very well mm -hmm. uh, in that uh, they stay connected. Uh, so that's very, uh, very important, at least to the 
the warehouse manager from the implementation standpoint and from the worker when they press print on the mobile device, they expect a label to come out. Mm, yeah. um, if you press print and it's just you're getting this proverbial spinning or hourglass yeah. because of a connectivity problem, that's not a good thing either. Yeah. So we've been uh, very, very conscious about making sure the connectivity and the roaming is, is very good on the devices. Yeah, yeah, I think that's an interesting point to there too about you know uh, pressing print and you know expecting something to print. I think that's how, what we expect, right? So, but having that the connectivity the connectivity issue, but also uh, I think what's important to touch on there is the just the the speed of, of printing as well, because I think you know we get into you know worked in warehouses and you get into such like a, a flow that you're you know you yeah it's like print you know back, print, back, print, back, print, back, right? And you get in this flow and then all of a sudden there's like a, a delay in the print or something and you know you end up hitting print again and maybe hitting print again and then uh, all of a sudden like like it spits out the same label three times or something. So tell us a little bit about how you focus in, in your hardware and solutions on the, uh, the speed of printing and the, the efficiency of that printing coming out. Yeah, so all of our latest printers have uh, modern processors in them. They have very, very good graphic renderings. Uh, yeah. The time to first print, which is usually one of the statistics we work on very hard. Mm. So from the time that they receive data from whether it's the, the WMS system or directly right. from the handset, to be able to render the first printout happens very, very quickly. Yes. I yeah. think in, in bench tests and speed tests, we rate very well there. Mm. Uh, being able to put graphics and or other elements into the print at speed mm. is something we perform very well at. You know, that's that's something we consciously test. I think, you know, in terms of inches per second, yeah. uh, that's very important. All of our printers support most of the modern languages that would be used in an existing warehouse. Mm. We certainly have SDK implementations that would allow a custom developer to want to do something more targeted. Right. Uh, but out of the box, you know, they, they're working configured to, to work very, very quickly. Mm. Yeah, very interesting. And I, I think it's such an important thing. And, and I, I, you know, I've used the, the Brother printers and I've used other printers too. And I, I will say that there, I have did notice that some uh, within the same operation, like some of the, the other printers, uh, certain labels that had more data on it, um, uh, more, I guess, information to, to process uh, took a lot longer than the Brother, which no matter seemed like no matter how much data or how much information on that was like uh, it was just print the same same speed every time which is consistent and, and that's key for the operation yeah we actually we learned a lot uh, one of our other businesses we work well in is uh, public safety so we write a lot of speeding tickets with those same printers <laughs> yeah. so depending on where you live and where you get where you get uh, pulled over and uh, we learned that uh, you know the police officers have to get on and off the side of the street quickly mm. for their safety right so a lot of emphasis is, is focused on yeah. quick print and so I think that bodes well inside the warehouse as well yeah, I think being able to have that reliable Ability, uh, being able to print provides a uh, you know a good experience overall. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and it's such a key to, to keeping the operation flowing and, and also uh, reducing those frustrations a little bit on the employees that we talked about earlier. So we, we've kind of talked about the current state of uh, mobile hardware and, and printing and, and where Brothers at, but but let's talk a little bit uh, more about the the future here. I mean, we are at we are at Promat, right? And, and a lot of people here are, are showcasing what they think uh, the future of our industry might hold. So so tell tell us a little bit about uh, what do you think kind of the, the future of the the warehousing industry uh, holds when it comes to modernization. So we see the warehouse getting to be, I mean, automation is coming. I mean, if you look mm -hmm. at the show, certainly the autonomous right. uh, robots are here, they're yeah. coming. Uh, of course, we also supply components to that world, so I see that getting more and more. I think uh, the Internet of Things or the IoT world is really where the ecosystem is growing. We've worked very closely, for example, uh, with Sodi on, on standardizing the IoT platforms for printers. Right. You know, printers will be looked at as an IoT device as part of an infrastructure. So a printer mm -hmm. is as in, in, important as a conveyor belt uh, and anything else in the warehouse that has to be monitored, managed, and tracked. So I see automation continuing to move forward, uh, being able to, to label the printers. Even the bots have to put labels on printers. Yeah. So print and apply still has to apply uh, labels on printers, so uh, labels on boxes. So the, the, the print engines or the printers, I think, will see more and more integration. Uh, I think you'll see more and more uh, print and apply, perhaps, make its way to the bots. Uh, but then even back to our old uh, marker and Sharpie dude, yeah. uh, <laughs> being able to 
effectively label and manage that. I, I think it'll be a nice progression. It'll be real interesting to come back here in five years mm. and kind of see where the automation and where the innovation has occurred. Yeah, absolutely. And I think to your, your point there kind of weaved in there, I mean, the the label itself is not not going anywhere, right? So so it's interesting, to, it'll be interesting, as you said, to see like how do these kind of automation solutions uh, adapt, like these print and apply uh, to, to boxes and packages that are going out the door or whatever the case may be internally in the warehouse. So really interesting to, to hear those insights and, and definitely um, interesting to, to touch on that stuff that is uh, Brother Mobile Solutions and, and the warehouse as a whole. Um, so Nick, I want to thank you so much for, for coming by the booth and, and talking to me about all this stuff. Um, if people are interested in learning more about Brother Mobile Solutions, what's the best way to do that? I think the best way is go to our website, brothermobilesolutions.com. You'll see a complete representation of our product portfolio. They can call us. We act, believe it or not, we actually do answer our own phone, so you can nice. still call Brother. Yeah. Brother will answer the phone and we can have a conversation. Um, one of the things we love to do is we'd love to get a printer in people's hands. If you want to try one, we're not bashful about sending printers out and working to get a demo or a pilot test going. Yeah, uh, so so definitely reach out to yeah. Brother. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And I, I will vouch for that demo because you guys sent me one to try as well, and I, I really appreciate it. It's a great way to really understand how something can, can fit into your operation, and I think, uh, I mean, I wish more companies would be like that. It's a great program to have. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much, Nick, and we'll definitely put all that information at thenewwarehouse.com, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the program. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate the time. Thank you.